Bill O'Reilly is going to have Tom Coburn on his program. Coburn had criticized Fox News for uh, riling up people for on uh, something that wasn't true, and they're about to have a little debate about that. Now, after you see this clip, do you think we might have other clips disproving O'Reilly? Uh, that's going to be the fun part. First, let's let O'Reilly set himself up. Republican Senator Tom Coburn from Oklahoma recently appeared at a town hall meeting where he was questioned about Obamacare, specifically how the government will punish people who don't buy mandatory health insurance. If they can put us in prison, take away our liberty, are they not trampling on our Fifth Amendment rights by putting it under the IRS? The intention is not to put anybody in jail. That makes for good TV news on Fox, but that isn't the intention. Wow. All right, joining us from Washington is Senator Coburn. Biased by Fox News, Senator? Really? Well, Bill, remember, the constituents that come to my town hall meetings, they routinely and uniformly listen to your network. And every network has some bias. Uh, I have a bias. You have a bias. You all work hard at trying to get that bias out. But the first question about be, people being put in jail, she didn't make that up. She'd heard that. Okay, can you and tell so the, me? So the, so the, so the uh, point is, yeah. the, point, the point is this, Bill, is what we have to do if we're going to win for a limited government, for freedom, for liberty, for uh, the expression that we all want to have in our country of our own individual rights, then we have to win on the real facts of the issues. And when we change those to where we inflame them, we lose our credibility. Okay, and I've, seen, I've been saying that more than anybody, that personal you attacks have, are foolish and, I, and propaganda is foolish. For that. Okay, but can you tell me one person on Fox News, just one, was told this audience that they'll go to jail if they don't buy health insurance? Well, I didn't ask the lady when she'd heard it. Well, uh, why, did the that, why then was it legitimate to bring in Fox News to a discussion where, number one, you don't know anybody on Fox News because there hasn't been anyone that said people go to jail if they don't buy uh, mandatory insurance. And number two, well, are you, the are lady you was asking a general pastors? question and you, bring, you brought in Fox News. That wasn't fair. When we overstate the case, and I will tell you, I've heard that in certain Fox programs, the but case tell me, is overstated. Tell me what, 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 because it doesn't happen here, and we researched to find out if anybody on Fox News had ever said you're going to jail if you don't buy health insurance. Nobody's ever said it. So it seems to me that what you did was you used Fox News as a whipping boy when we didn't qualify there. All right. No one has ever said it. It doesn't happen here. There hasn't been anyone. Can you name just one person who said it on Fox News? They say they researched it. You might have wanted to go to Media Matters. I know you don't like them, but they do a lot of research on you guys. Or the Young Turks. Just look at our YouTube clips. That would be great. O'Reilly, yeah, let's look on the Young Turks. What did we screw up? Well, here's one thing you screwed up. Uh, Bill, you want one person? How about Glenn Beck? Let's check out what he had to say. If you don't play by their new rules on health care, ooh, here's a new little twist. Have you heard this? You're going to be looking at a fun little stint in jail. Huh. When people like me had a problem with people coming across our border, taking jobs, going and flooding our hospitals and our schools, taking the stuff, they didn't have a problem with that. But if you don't play ball with them now, if you don't get into their government health care, there will be jail time. And that, of course, is fair. No one has ever said it on Fox News. You know, if you need research, J.R. Jackson will do it for you. Wait, you know it turns out he's not the only one. Let's go to Sean Hannity. Dick Morris was on the program last night. Penalties for people who don't get government mandated health insurance. Uh, jail time? Possibility? Huh. Huh. Jail? Is we, that are, we are losing freedom. I mean, the Berlin Wall anniversary was just the other day, and these are the kinds of policies that used to be imposed on people behind that wall. One problem they're going to have, though, Sean, they're going to have to do something about prisons. If they're going to put all these people in jail, it cost $50,000 a year to take care of a prisoner, so they're going to have to do prison reform. No one has ever said it on Fox News. You want another one? How about Judge Napolitano? For the first time in American history, if this bill becomes law, the feds will force you to buy insurance you might not want or may not need or cannot afford. 
If you don't purchase what the government tells you to buy, if you don't do so when they tell you to do it, if you don't buy just what they say is right for you, the government may fine you, prosecute you, and even put you in jail. Freedom of choice and control over your own body will be lost. The privacy of your communications and medical making decisions with your physician will be gone. Just name one person who said it on Fox News. You want me to keep busting you up all night long? All right, Billow, I'll let you off with just one more clip. I believe these two guys are named Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly. Let's watch. All right, so now you're okay now, right? Yes. Fully recovered, oh, well, 80%, now I'm with you. 90%. 100%. Don't I look great? I lost almost six ounces. Yeah. I well, the problem with you looking great is you're in makeup for three hours. People mm -hmm. don't know that, but you've got a team of surgeons. <laughs> I know. The this same is a people, fat suit. The same people who took out his appendix does his makeup. Yeah. I see said to him, I said, while well, you're in there, can't you, can you, like, suck any of the fat out of me? Or yeah, they could do that little thing. What do they call that no. with the little thing? Liposuction. Yeah, couldn't they do that at the same no. time? They wouldn't. wouldn't do that? No. All right. I don't have universal health care. No, let's get, uh, well, you will soon. <laughs> oh, I know, um, or I'll go to jail. Yeah, are you going to be a conscientious objector to health care? You know, this is the first time in history in our country where just to be a citizen, just to be, just to not go to jail, right? you have to buy something. I think you should go to prison for this cause. <laughs> really? I do. Yeah. All right, I'll That would be fun. I'll help you. No one has ever said that on Fox News Channel, let alone on Bill O'Reilly's program. Can you name just one person who said it? How about four? Did that do it for you, Bill? I keep busting you up. Okay, I think that'll do it. God, that's the great thing about O'Reilly, man. He sets himself up every night. He just says these things because he knows his audience is never going to check it. That's why they get so mad when other people like us do check it. They're like, oh, those sons of bitches quoting us. Don't you dare quote us. What's that J.R. Jackson up to? Finding all those videos. What's the matter with him? Well, sad day for you, Billo. We got you on tape. Ah. Uh, I love it when they lie like that. Makes my day.